coffee lovers, put your coffee cup down and brace yourself for what you're about to see. Maybe emotionally disturbing. An expert in the field has a dire warning, and ABC's Barbara Pinto has that story. Here, men such as Juan Valdez handpicked their coffee with pride. Imagine Juan Valdez without his beans. Just imagine if you hadn't run out of coffee. The taster's choice couple with nothing to taste. I wouldn't want to live in a world without coffee, to be honest with you. I'm double fisted with my coffee here. <laughs> a workforce without its morning jolt of Java. Legions of uncaffeinated zombies slogging through the day. This is probably my fourth cup of coffee today. So, I'd be pretty miserable. But the director of sustainability for Starbucks warned members of Congress this is no joke. Jim Hanna told the Guardian newspaper what we're really seeing 10, 20, 30 years down the road, if conditions continue as they are, is a potentially significant risk to our supply chain, which is the Arabica coffee bean. Hanna and this ad, run by the Union of Concerned Scientists, warn heavy rain, long droughts, and insect infestations linked to climate change threaten the future of your morning joe. In barista speak, that means no venti, no grande, not even at all. So Starbucks may hedge its beverage bets, investing in a chain of smoothie and juice bars. Not the same thing, and kind of, that's a lot of calories. I mean, compared to coffee. More bad news, another report out this week warned the future may also be bitter for chocolate. Global warming, it says, could make parts of Africa too hot to grow cocoa. A world without chocolate and coffee? Yeah, that, that doesn't sound fun at all. <laughs> I'll have to explore other planets by then. It's not a world I would want to live in. Skeptics of global warming say these warnings are brewing unnecessary concern. A tempest in a coffee pot. For Good Morning America, Barbara Pinto, ABC News, Chicago.